welcome back in this video i would like to share you how you can jailbreak ios 14.4.1 i know it is a bit late but this is an easy method that you can try so you can jailbreak your phone without using a mac and you can see i have a window pc with my hand here and i have the iphone se running on the latest one 14.4.1 now with the process it is very easy so all you need um, you just need a 4 gigabyte of usb or 16 gigabyte depend on which one that you have but i recommend you to have 8 gigabyte um, up to 16 gigabyte and this is a 16 gigabyte one now in order to jailbreak you need to go to this link uh, it is allow you to run check ran on windows and I also sang to check ran team without them we, we cannot jailbreak the phone so I'm um, give them a credit now um, in order to run check ran on window you should be able to go to this link and then hit on release you're gonna see the blue touch here click on it and then you're gonna go to this page uh, where you have check ran 1.1.6 and hit on the download um, download the zip file here click on it now after you have download check ran file you need to download this software that allow you to create a bootable usb um, it is completely free and i have already downloaded it now um, let's um, go to check ran that we have just download hit on show in folder and then you need to drag and drop um, check ran into desktop for easy use so i'm gonna drag and drop to my desktop here and I have already installed the software, this software, so I have already installed it. Now you need to plug in your USB in, a, in order to create a bootable USB. Now on check it in, it is in zip file, so all you have to do, right click and extract it to the folder. So hit on extract here. And now um, you are going to see the folder on desktop, hit on it. And you will see ISO file. So now um, you can go ahead and go back into uh, Balena and then hit on flash from file and then you need to find the file that you have just extracted so which is um, check ran um, in my case it is on my desktop that i have show you here it is in the folder that I that i have just extracted now double click on um, iso file and with this one um, you need to select your usb uh, for me it is um, 16 gigabyte select on it and then hit on select and lastly hit on flash If you see Windows command processor, hit on yes. Now it is completed. You are going to see this, um, this page uh, where it asks you to format the disk. But um, do not format it because um, it doesn't recognize by Windows. That's why it's so like that. So just hit on um, console and we can go back. And then you need to restart your PC and boot into the USB. And then we should be able to jailbreak our iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and restart uh, my PC real quick. And as soon as your PC goes black, you need to hit on escape key to go to BIOS. In my case, because I am using HP computer, that's why I need to hit on escape key. But um, if you have like um, Dell or you have Asus and some other computer, it is depend on the product. So um, you need to find out the key that you can go to BIOS. For example, like um, Dell, you can hit on delete key or F12. So now I'm on my HP here, I can go ahead and press on F9 to go to a boot device option. So I can go ahead and press on F9 on my F key. And then I can go ahead and go to boot from EFI file, hit on enter, enter again, and use an arrow down and go to EFI, and go down and go to boot. And now you can boot like 864, um, hit on enter, and you're gonna see this error, so don't worry about it. Um, it is going to be fine. Now um, everything seems to be working. So you can see here, so you can use um, like LF2 to go to check ran. So I'm gonna put the screenshot on um, the video here, so you can easily find out how you can press on LF2. So I can go ahead and go to LF2. And you can see check ran just pop up straight away. And now it's time to connect your iPhone. Now my phone is connected, so I can unlock. And this is very important. You need to hit on trust. Um, otherwise it doesn't recognize. So now it is here. And it is going to say um, it is unsupported. So you can go ahead and go to option. 
and now I'm um, go to allow untrusted iOS version and go back and now you can see you should be able to jailbreak so hit on start hit on ok and put your device into recovery mode and now uh, my phone is entering recovery mode as you can see now to jailbreak your iPhone SE uh, with the home button you need to hold on um, the power button plus the home button for 10 seconds and after that you can um, release the power button but keep holding the home button until you see um, TFU mode successfully so um, you need to do it along the tick so you need to do it at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and hit on start uh, one more thing that I want to mention if you have the iPhone 8 it is going to be different um, you can follow the tick on the right side here so I'm gonna go ahead and start my jailbreak process Release the power button, but keep holding the home button. Now I can release my home button and you can wait for the process. And it is booting right now. And you're going to see check and logo right here. Now it is done, I can go ahead and unplug my phone. And after that, um, you should be able to see CheckRen pop up on the home screen, just like that. And now before you can open CheckRen, you need to connect to your Wi-Fi. So let me connect um, to my Wi-Fi real quick. After that, go back and open CheckRen. And now it's time to install Sidea, hit on install Sidea. Side here has been installed, so I can go ahead and open it. Now let me scroll down and show you. So on my iPhone SE here, it is on 14.4.1, and it and it has been jailbroken. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video, and then I will see you guys in the next one.